morning my dear class 4 students students here i am your science teacher this is aarti negi from your school vidya bal and i hope all of you are active healthy and doing your studies regularly at your homes students as you know that we are going ahead with our chapter number Three from our science book that is adaptation in animals. Okay, already we have learnt about terrestrial animals, amphibians, aquatic animals, arboreal animals, aerial animals. Okay. Now today we will start with our page number twenty eight. So just quickly open your page number twenty eight from your science book. And today, first of all, we will move ahead with the in text questions, the questions that are present in your page number twenty eight. So the first question is: Animals that live on land, on the land. The name of these animals are quickly write down here. terrestrial animals write down terrestrial animals second question the winter sleep by some animals what does it name its name is hibernation quickly write down with your pencil take out your pencil quickly and start writing here hibernation the third question the animal that spent most of their time on trees so what does their what's their name what they are named as arboreal animals you can write down spelling from here arboreal animals next question number 4 that is animals like birds and insects that spend most of their time in animals like birds and insects that spend most of their time in air they are called aerial animals means they used to spend most of their time throughout their lives Uh, life span that is in the air so they are called aerial animals fifth one the question number 5 is the animals that live both on land and in water they are called amphibians like frog okay they live they can live they can survive on the land as well as in the water Okay, so these were your in-text question. Now come to the next heading of our chapter, that is adaptation for food. Means how different different animals adapt, have adapted themselves according to their feeding habits, or you can say according to their food. So on the basis of food uh, adaptation for food. we can classify animals as herbivores carnivores and omnivores yes and the last category is parasite there are four types of feeding habits so the first one are the herbivores animals which eat plants are called herbivores or plant eating animals like cow buffalo deer elephant giraffe zebra they are called herbivores because they are the animals that they feed on plants or plants parts only and they have very sharp flat front teeth okay for the chewing and grinding purpose and their back teeth their back teeth are strong and broad and they have a long and strong legs 
to travel long distance in search of their food. Okay, so these are called herbivores animals. Means the animals that feeds on plants only. Now come to the second type of animals. They are called carnivores. Carnivores are the animals that eat the flesh means meat. Flesh means meat. Flesh of other animals. And they are called carnivores like tiger, lion. Okay, they are called carnivores. And they have long, pointed and curved front teeth and strong back grinding teeth. And their front teeth, their teeth that are present in the front of their mouth are used for holding, for holding and tearing. Holding and tearing of the prey means their food. And their back teeth help them to cut cut up the flesh of the prey and birds of prey like eagle and the vultures have very sharp beak their beak are very sharp and very strong and their claws means panje in hindi they are called panje their claws again are very strong enough to catch their prey from the ground and then they again fly and these animals tear their flesh with the help of these with the help of their strong teeth so these are the two types of animals that are adapted for the food first one i have told you that the animals that lives so that feeds on plants and plants parts only like leaves fruits flowers stem root means they used to eat only these parts of a plant then they are called herbivores and the examples of herbivores are like cow have you ever seen any cow eating meat eating chicken eating egg no na kabhi nahi dekha because cow is a herbivore animal it always used to have only plant as its food and second one i have told you that they are the carnivores types of animals carnivores like birds uh, tiger lion fox bear they are the animals that they feed on the flesh of other animals means they catch their prey and then hold these prey with the help of their limbs and then they tear its meat and eat it okay so they are called carnivores and carnivores eat only meat no plant products no plants things no plants parts only meat they are also we can say they are only meat eating animals so they are the carnivores okay students now i think you have got the knowledge about herbivores and carnivores herbivores plant eating carnivores meat eating okay now students i'm giving you a homework that you will have to draw i think all of you are a very good painter present here so you will have to draw one one picture of each first one picture of terrestrial animal one picture of aquatic animal one picture of arboreal animal one picture of aerial animal and one picture of amphibian animals any one you can take any one terrestrial like you can draw a cow horse anything or you for uh, for aquatic you can write you can draw fish for aerial you can draw a cute little monkey or a squirrel for aerial you can draw a tiny little bird for amphibian you can draw a frog okay just draw them write down their name just add the 
front of that diagram like at the bottom of that diagram and as well as color it beautifully just like you okay draw your uh, diagrams write down their name and color them by using only pencil colors no sketch pens are allowed no wax crayons nothing only use pencil colors to draw their to color your diagram and use your pencil to draw your pictures okay so students this is your homework now all these topics that i have taught you today in our in my today's class that you will have to revise and learn also okay so thank you for today and after yes after uh, drawing your diagram you will have to upload your beautiful drawn pictures in your school's app in front of your subject that is science okay so after drawing your work after completing your work just upload your drawing in your school's app so thank you for today be at your home be safe thank you students